Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you the easiest way how you can download IPTV Smart or Live TV player to your Fire Stick or Android TV. Now, first of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can get it for free from the official Amazon App Store or from Google Play Store. To do so, just go to search on your device. Here it is, the search bar. And now we have to type the loader right here in the search bar. And as you can see, here it is already popped out for us at the bottom. So there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. Click on the loader. And that's the app which you need to get to your device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. You still have to set it up. To do so, we'll go to settings. Here they are, so here are settings. Then go to My Fire TV. And here we'll have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, don't worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times. And do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see now, the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer, that's in my case, in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which are going to appear right here. Open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then we'll go to install unknown apps, and make sure to turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, is going to allow us to install other applications from the internet, and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Now, when you go to the list of apps on your device, you'll find the downloader application here. However, before actually using the downloader, there's one very important detail. Before using the downloader, I always recommend getting a VPN, and in my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great application for Fire Stick or Android TVs, and they're not expensive for such a premium service. So what you do in a VPN app, you just connect to any server and from that moment on, all your internet traffic is encrypted. So nobody can track you online, your internet provider doesn't know what apps you are downloading, what TV are you watching, what websites are you visiting, and it's very important nowadays to stay out of trouble online, especially with internet laws getting stricter and stricter every year. And if you are interested in getting a VPN or giving NordVPN a try, I do have a special offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video, you'll get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing deal. So go click that link in a pinned comment and grab that amazing NordVPN offer. And now, when we are safely connected to a VPN, let's use the loader. So we open the application. And here, in that search bar, we'll have to type iptvsmarters.com. Enter the link exactly as you see on the screen, because if you make any mistake, it's not going to work. And after that, click on Go. And now, in a couple of seconds, the IPTV Smarters website is going to open. Yep, here it is. So what we have to do here is click on that sandwich button and go to the downloads page. Here it is, click on it. Then scroll down a bit, and here you'll see the newest versions of IPTV Smarters applications. And if for some reason you want to download the older version of IPTV Smarters to your Fire Stick or Android TV, you can do that here as well. If you scroll down more, you'll see the older versions here. However, we'll be using the newest one. So scroll up and click on that APK file download. It's going to work both for a Fire Stick or for your Android TV. And now the download has started. Usually it does not take long, but of course it all depends on your internet connection speed. Then click on install in the right bottom corner, and now the app is being installed to your TV device. And after the app has been installed, do not press on open yet, instead click on done, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, as we do not need it anymore. So click on delete here, and then delete once again. And now we're good to go, let's go once again to the list of apps on your device. Here it is, click on it. And after it loads, you'll see the IPTV Smarters app right here on your device. I recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on move to front. This way the IPTV Smarters application is going to be at the very top of your app list and it's going to be easier to access it every time you want. Then of course do not forget to get your VPN connected when using IPTV applications. 
and then open the IPTV Smarters app. Here select your device type, in our case we are using a TV, so it will be TV. Click on save, then accept the license agreement. And from this moment it's pretty straightforward. If you want to add an M3U playlist, you select that option, and here you can either upload it as a file or add the M3U URL, which you get from your service provider. Alternatively, you can use Xtreme codes, of course, so you select that option, give a name to your playlist, then enter a username, a password, and a link to your playlist. Then click on Add Playlist button, and it's going to work just fine for you. And then after you add your playlists, you can click on List Playlists and see all the playlists which are added to your application. So that's pretty simple, and that's the easiest way to get IPTV Smarters Pro to your Fire Stick or Android TV in 2024. If the video was helpful, make sure to click on the like button so more people would see it as well. And see you next time. Bye-bye.